Welcome back to 12 News. You know, Easter Sunday is a time for communion. Folks down in Bassfield did just that at a remembrance for lives lost in the Easter tornado storms last year. 12 News' Deidre Briscoe was there today, where memories of the tragedy are still fresh. April 12, 2020, Easter storms hit Jefferson Davis County. Two EF4s and one EF3 barreled through the county on that day. Shortly after 1 p.m., the county went on tornado watch. A little before 4 o'clock, we kept, went under what they call the tornado emergency. That's not a good thing in emergency management. It's not something we want to hear. It's not something we want to live through. And I knew from that that if that tornado actually hit the ground and tracked through Jefferson, in Davis County. It would be tragic. It would be total devastation. And that's exactly what we had. Take a look behind me at the ruin that still remains after a terrible disaster that struck in the afternoon on that deadly Easter day. A two mile wide tornado ravaged a town, destroying everything in its path. And at the end of the day, left four innocent people dead. If we don't love one, leave home. Say I love you. Nearly a year later on this Easter Sunday, people came together to remember and mourn. A mom remembers her son. He made it to the hospital, which we thought he was going to be okay. You know, and the doctor stayed back there a while, and he came back and he told me that he was gone. And I still don't believe it sometimes, but the hurt is so deep, more than I can explain to anybody. Because the, my son was 46 years old. He was healthy. Recovery is coming along. Some families have rebuilt, some are in the process of rebuilding, and others are still trying to find their way. And the pandemic hasn't made things any easier. Of course, the storm and then the virus and all of it just kind of accumulated together. And you couldn't get anything. I mean, you know, you get a contractor who says, uh, you know, I'll be here next week if I can get what I need. Well, he may show up three weeks later. For some, the storm is as vivid today as it was then. As Bassville cleans up and rebuilds, for those who lost loved ones, it may never be the same. Reporting in Jefferson Davis County, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.